picked up a couple of utes this week. Let's check them out. Okay, another one coming on the trailer. Doing what we do. Yeah, all fun. All right, big girls home. Might slot him over there with the other green ute. <laughs> I uh, picked up this too. Really nice bonnet. Yeah, good score. Ah, oh, just about to unload this jalopy. Have a go at it, would you? Jesus, rough as guts. Look at this. Wow. Well, yeah. Hey, the thing's a mess. I don't know why I do this stuff. Well, I do know why I do this stuff. This, the story behind this one is like I looked at the ad. And um, and went, yeah, no, it's too rough, don't bother, you know. And uh, and then the next morning, my son sent it to me and said, check the build date. And I had a look at the plate and went, oh, yes, yeah, 773. And, um, and then looked it up and it's actually, the car was actually built on the day I was born. So I thought, well, if you're going to have one, you might as well have that, eh? <laughs> so, yeah, it's rough as guts, but I'm going to do my best to put it back on the road and... Um, and yeah, drive around in an old ute that's uh, the same age as me to the day. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Have a go at the, look at the height of the rear of her, right? Have a go at the spring hangers in here. Look at this. <laughs> so she's also got an uh, got a LSD sticker on the pillar, so I'm hoping that's still the original diff. Fingers crossed. It'd be good if it was. It's plated D72, which is a 323 open center, but um, but she has the slippery diff. There's a slippery diff sticker on the pillar. So we'll see what happens. This is the crankshaft and that out of the original motor. It's got a VG45 in it now. There's a radiator in there and you know other bits and pieces. Dutz and radio. Um, yeah, much more to tell about her. She's pretty rough. But, but as I said, the build date was the important thing to me. So we'll get her unloaded and park her here in the bush with the rest of them and work out what I'm going to do with it. Oh, big girl's on the ground. Oh, yeah, like I said, PG245 been dropped in it. I don't know why, but the balance is off it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'd, I'd, my guess is they picked this motor up from somewhere and slotted it in, going to get it going, and never got around to it. That's what it looks like. But, um, but yeah, who knows? The plenum's not completely buggered, in it? Uh, but we've got some, some other issues around everywhere else. That's <laughs> uh, pretty rusty. This is um, that's what I seen last night. Look at this. Hey, look at that control arm. Snapped, busted, cracked, pushed off the hub. <laughs> that's a mess. Anyway, the front end bushes are in good nick too. Look at that. Hey, she's been an old farm truck, this bulky. She copped a hard life. Should see underneath that it's a stone flog, something bad. Uh, but anyway, well, um, yeah sitting around here and see what happens. We've got an old 05 here as a parts truck, so we might, um, yeah, so we can't put this one back on the road soon as how we share a uh, date of birth. <laughs> anyway, that's her, rough as guts. But, um, yeah. In the back's not too bad. The rubbish laying around in there, that's the head off the old engine, I'd imagine. The tub is relatively solid, which is a shock. There's a bit of rust around the back window there in that bottom panel, which is nothing unusual. But, um, but yeah, the tub itself isn't too bad. Oh, that's cactus. And most of them are. This one's even the frame that's rusty as well. Uh, yeah, she's a wild bit of gear, but let's see how we go. All right. Going you know, to pick up another load today. Let's do it. Oh no, latest arrival. 
VK Ute. It's not a bad thing, it looks can be deceiving, it looks a bit rough, but it is a pretty solid body. And um, best of all, it's uh, E44, factory 318. It's only got a six cylinder in it at the moment, but um, but yeah, factory 318 Ute. It's a pretty odd thing in a, in a VK. I have seen one other. So we have one there. 318 and 727 to go in the big girl. It's, um, yeah, like I said, not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. Uh, green utes are everywhere lately. Another one there, another one there. Yes, yeah, guard and the door are a bit how you're going, not original, but we've, if you come with the guard and the door and a good tailgate and front apron there and heaps of other bits. Of, um, yeah, the seat's been trimmed at some stage. Very plain taxi sort of setup, but um, the floors aren't so bad. Yeah, I think we'll make something out of this, eh? I really do. I think she'll be all right. Yeah, not too bad. Let's see if we can get the bonnet up. Oh yeah, look at that, it cracked. Beautiful. Yeah, I think it's a 215 in it now. Yeah, 215 in the big girl now. Right, if we go over this side and have a look at the plate. E44, D32, G18, R82, radio, and a tourney. Beautiful. So, yeah, still got the V8 booster and everything on it. Still got a V8 K frame in it. <laughs> so, yeah, I think this thing will tidy up all right. I really do. Anyway, I might um, get her off the trailer. Get her undercover, I reckon. Okay, just give this big girl a hit with the pressure washer and most of that green stuff's going to come off pretty easy, as you can see. Uh, but, um, but yeah, I've got other things I've got to do. So I'm just going to roll this thing into the shed with the purple car and she'll be out of the weather and we might pull it out again after Christmas and uh, have a bit of a crack at it. I'm liking the idea of the factory V8 thing. That's very cool. Uh, anyway, we'll get on to it. I have to turn that wheel a bit, I think. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to collect the wall. We look down the other side there. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to collect the wall. around a bit more I think get the rear kicked around a little bit before we get off there's big girl Right, hey, she's in the shed. All, um, all the bits are in the back. And, um, we might get this big girl out next year after Christmas and um, see if we can't get him cracking for Aubrey, maybe. I'll give it a run anyway. So, but like I said, she's undercover, hanging out with my favourite V8 Val. Beautiful. All right, a couple of utes turned up. That's how we roll. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, guys, once again. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and share it around. Have a good one. Cheers.